It wasn't a big aerobics class. It was a race warm-up. And it wasn't an ordinary race in the Peruvian capital. These women, more than 100 of them, were about to run in high heels. The race rule said the heels had to be at least 5 centimeters, around 2 inches high. Organizers said the heels represented an obstacle in the everyday lives of women, and the race was intended to demonstrate all obstacles could be overcome. It was run in heats. The women in each started out enthusiastically. And the whole event dramatized the saying it wasn't the winning, but the taking part that counts. Each participant was aiding charity. The entry fee of $7 went into a fund to be donated to groups supporting women and children who are victims of domestic violence in Peru. Most of the runners appeared in good spirits, though many, including Soledad Candlif, were taking the 150-meter race seriously. It was a friendly race, but the most important thing is the goal, which is to fight against the violence used on women, a violence that's often domestic and is generated within the family. I think the race is important because of that. Condleaf was among the fast finishers receiving prizes from the race sponsor, but the celebration extended to the wider message that nothing can hold back determined women. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.